Bro, you know what's crazy? They a lot of the anti cheat team is they're all their all the hush money is going like they're 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 paying King Condom to basically uh, be their RuneScape lawyer, and he's the only one defending them. You know what I mean? He's like he's the only one fucking defending it. They took all your GP. They took it all. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most delusional and copian takes I've seen all year in the old school RuneScape community. I'm sorry this video took so long to get out. The drama started while I was doing a subathon and I obviously couldn't do it during that so now that's over I've managed to get all the files together and, and do as much research as I think is acceptable for this video now I want to present it to you guys in a format that is easy to consume so I'll give you a quick TLDR on what's happened so far so you don't have to go back and watch the last two videos of mine and the video that bike has made you should be able to be up to speed and then we can shut down the deathmatching community for good, hopefully, in the old school RuneScape community. A few key things you need to know before going into this video. Uh, BTCs is Bikers and Fred. They are partners, 50-50 partners. They share the brand. I will try to differentiate them when I can, but if I don't, I don't script my videos. I've just got screenshots uh, to kind of go off of when I can. So I'm kind of just winging it because that's the easiest way for my P brain to be able to put this video together I can't really I can't do it any other way it just doesn't work for me mentally and unfortunately I do have to be wearing this hat during the video because I've got a pretty big dent in the middle of my head there the headphone dent the gamer dent uh, and I can't let that be a distraction from you guys while I'm dropping some massive truth bombs on the RuneScape community today. Bikers is currently harassing me on uh, Discord he's got the, this picture of me that's it's on my Twitter I'm naked with my cock under a towel you've probably all seen it and he keeps sending it to me. He sent it to me like three times now in the past 30 minutes. Um, he's got problems. I, I, I guess he finds it more embarrassing than I do. I, I don't really uh, care. It's just a bit weird that it's, it keeps being sent to me. So this is the sort of idiot that we're dealing with here. Um, I'll, get, I'll get you guys up to speed with the TLDR. Then we're going to discuss various ways that him and his friends break the RuneScape rules. I'm not 100% sure why Jagex did ban him initially, which I made clear in my previous videos and I will make clear again. And one last message to bikers personally through this video so everyone can hear it. That way you can't fabricate this one. You can't tell people that it never happened. Uh, bikers has a habit of saying that it's screenshots are fake or this is all fabricated, it's lies, and he wants to keep things in the DMs. Not with me, because I think you're full of shit. So I invite you to my platform. I've got a bigger platform than you, so you can come to my stream if you want more eyes, or you can have the home foot advantage and I will go live with you on your platform. Every screenshot I show in this video that I have permission to share, you can pull up the, the same timestamps on your Discord, right? And compare them, like one for one. Show me that they're fabricated. If they're fabricated, I'll, I'll take the L. I'll admit defeat and I'll say, yeah, you know what? I've been lied to. But I guarantee it's not going to happen. You're a coward and all it's going to do is expose you. But the invitation is there. So let's see what we, we present. This is the open invitation for you bikers. I'm going to crack a cold one and get into the video. Well, yeah. This entire thing with BTC started once he achieved 1 trillion gold on his account, which is a remarkable feat no one's ever done before. Whether you believe he got it legitimately or not isn't really the point of this video, but he was then banned by Jagex some amount of time later, a couple weeks I believe. And a, a few weeks prior to that, while I was live, we found out that he had scammed someone out of 10,000 US dollars worth of Bitcoin in his deathmatching clan through Discord. Now, how does that work? Why would someone give him $10,000? I'll give you a quick rundown. Basically, deathmatching is where you 1v1 someone, you both put up a stake, and the winner gets that money. It's like gambling, right? It's meant to be as close to 50-50 as possible. Middlemanning is bannable in RuneScape. You're not allowed to have a third party hold the money and then give it to the winner. Okay, that is completely bannable. Deathmatching should be bannable, but middlemanning in deathmatching is not allowed. So, someone has to be trusted in that situation. If you pay $10,000, which was equal to 50 bill gold at the time in, Rune, in RuneScape, you would get a bronze star next to your name, which makes you a trusted staker insured for 25 billion gold. While the deathmatchers won't admit this and they will try to fight this fact, that rank makes you a middleman. You, you become your own middleman in that situation because instead of having a third party hold the gold, if I've got this bronze star and you enter the deathmatching scene wanting to stake, say, 10 bill, you give me the 10 bill, then we fight. And if you win, you will only get 19 bill back, or it varies, it might be less than that, it might be more than that. I will keep a percentage because that is the point of me being trusted. That way, long term, I make my money back. That 50 bill slash 10,000 US dollars that I've invested, I will make back long term over a certain amount of death matches, right? If my account gets banned, I keep that rank, it stays tied to me as a person, not my account. So I'm able to keep making my money back. 
I hope that makes sense for you guys so far. Now, with the Bronze Star rank, me being insured for 25 bill, if you came to me and gave me 30 bill and I took off, you would only get 25 bill back from the people that run the deathmatching clan. I know, right? That's, aren't that just great guys giving out 25 bill like that, like it's nothing. If it was 10 bill, you'd get your 10 bill back, right? I'm only insured up to 25 bill. So there is an incentive for people to at least earn their money back before they scam and take off with people's money. Now, the person that bought this $10,000 rank had some internal beef with the people running this deathmatching clan. It's not relevant to the situation. I don't really care for it. That's their own problem to sort out. But that is a very simple way to explain how these ranks work when you pay for them with either RuneScape Gold, Bitcoin, or real money. So when this scam happened and I found out about it, I made a video on it and bikers reached out to me, BTCs on Twitter reached out to me and asked me to remove the video because he would like to talk about the situation himself and address it. It was fabricated, it's fake, why didn't you come to me first? As a content creator, I 100% believe that he deserves to have his voice heard. Absolutely. I've been on the side of controversy before where I wasn't allowed to have my voice heard and content creators wrote me off. I didn't give a shit about them to begin with anyway, but it just kind of showed me who the rats are in this community. I don't want to have that effect on anyone else, even if it is someone like bikers and BTCs. Our interactions before this was actually pretty positive. I didn't have a bad opinion of the guy. So I privated the video. I said, go ahead, mate. You, you say what you need to say, but I will be looking at your video and I'll be doing a reaction on that video regardless because I that's what I do. That's the content I enjoy making. People come to me and want to hear my opinions. So you go for it. I'm under the impression that he's going to talk about this rank situation, the scam, uh, the, the DMing CC. He made a video and he just was like, oh, I had one trillion gold and I got banned and Jagex's corruption, the anti-cheat team, they're, they're stealing my money. And Grey Grey got banned too, and she has never broken any rules. This doesn't make any sense. Like, my friends got banned too. They, they've never broken any rules. And uh, the money's still on the account. Motto Isa told me that it's got nothing to do with the one trillion, but the one trillion's still on my account. So how could I have real traded? As if that's the only fucking money he has access to. Basically, he fucked up, okay? I didn't like that video at all, because he didn't address what I said. He asked me to take mine down so he can talk about the situation. And he completely ignored it and just pretended like it never happened. So I said, I was like, fuck you. I'm going to re-upload the video. I told him that too. I said to him, I was like, I think you're full of shit, so I'm re-uploading it. I reacted to the video and I also exposed the, the inner workings a little bit of how his DM works so people understand how uh, the, the DMing Discord and clan works in the game. And from then onwards, it kind of just spiraled out of control in the background. Bikers wanted to keep everything in the DMs and keep it private so that it didn't get any public attention, which I realized very quickly was just so that way he didn't have to have anything exposed about him. And the amount of information I've received from people has honestly blown me away. I have learned so much more about this scene and that it goes so much deeper than just a $10,000 scam. And I believe firmly that both Fred and Bikers from BTCs, among some other people too, should absolutely be banned from RuneScape. And we're going to discuss that today. And I want to also ask Jagex why they haven't done anything about it. Because it's, it's insane. I will try to leave as much information as I can in the Dropbox down below. So you can also go through a lot of screenshots and read them more in depth if you want to. And finally, I do also want to make it clear that I don't actually care if you real world trade, scam, hack, steal. I don't care. Okay, it's got nothing to do with me. Jagex needs to pull their finger out and do something about it. What I do care about, however, is one, asking me to remove a video and then not do what you said you were going to do about it. And two, you're a content creator, but you do all this shady shit, okay? I don't care that you scam or real trade, but if you're gonna get caught for it, don't go try and attack the company saying that they're lying and scamming and that they're corrupt and they're, they don't have any evidence when there's no logical reason to doubt the company when they say the evidence is irrefutable. I, I don't I don't I don't think that is acceptable. I don't think that is what you should be doing as a creator and you're just consistently doubling down without providing any evidence or even a reasonable argument to defend yourself. Jagex doesn't need to provide evidence. I would like it if they did, of course, all of us would. They don't need to provide evidence. Jmods who are your friends have made it very clear that this is how it is. And you still choose to double down on the fact that you innocent, you've never broken a real world trading rule since the last time you got caught doing it. It's kind of garbage in my opinion. That is the easiest way I can summarize how we kind of got here and what's going on and what's gonna happen next. I'm sorry the TLDR was a lot longer than I intended it to be. It's the best way I can present this video. I do apologize for that. But now we're gonna move on to the juice and the meat and potatoes of the video. We're gonna start off with something light and easy here for you guys. This isn't exactly a home run, it's more like a third base, a short jog home. 
uh, that Jagex is going to have a hard time sticking the landing on when trying to execute a ban for this sort of content. But what this will do is ruin external tournaments, giveaways and events for content creators going forward. I don't care for that though, because you're doing it to real trade. So this is gonna shut that shit down. You guys might remember the 100 bill exclusive kick streaming tournament that uh, BTCs and Odoblock both held on kick. I don't know the numbers, and the reason this isn't a home run is because bikers and Fred, they're slippery little fuckers. They're, you can't find evidence of an actual transaction unless like kick openly presents something. There's no evidence of them physically being paid. But what else does sponsored mean? If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, BTC's rear will trade it. So this 100 bill prize was put up originally by BTC's, I believe. I don't know if the numbers changed between him and Odoblock. There's rumors, stuff going back and forth. I only have screenshots of where BTC says that he put up the 100 bill from his stash, which makes sense because Odoblock would bring the numbers considering BTC's community is insignificant and irrelevant. So BTC's brings the money, Odoblock brings the platform, they both get paid and compensated. BTCs gets compensated for the 100 bill giveaway, which is a way for him to legally rear will trade. Now, because I don't have any physical evidence of money being exchanged between either TPT or Kick to BTCs for putting up this 100 bill, it's hard to say that there was actual rear will trading going on here, but I fucking know money laundering when I see it. It's just not gonna hold up in court because we don't have any physical evidence. But don't worry about that because we also checked with Mod Ash that this was acceptable. Unfortunately, I couldn't tweet it myself because Bikers was having me reported on Twitter. At least his community was reporting me for exposing some of the juicy stuff I have on him and Fred. So we had a friend of mine ask Mod Ash, hypothetically, if I was to host a PVM tournament uh, in game on behalf of a company where the in game prize would be what does it say? 25 bill. Uh, could I have? Uh, could I be banned for real trade if I was to put up the 25 bill in the tournament and the company would pay me RO money to make up for the 25 bill? Well, Ashton replies, wouldn't that mean you were effectively selling the company 25 bill for real world money? That's exactly right. Now, unfortunately, my friend was being mocked by people on Twitter for being like, oh, if I real trade, is it real trade? Even EVscape was trying to make a joke of it. But the fact that people were doing that to my friend kind of proves my point and kind of makes it very clear and going forward, if Jagex sees tournaments being held outside where there is a prize money and people are being sponsored for it, I would definitely consider looking deeply into that for people legally real trading money, especially if it's people like BTCs, because uh, that's exactly what happened. I have, I have strong sources saying that's what happened, but it's not, it's not evidence. It's not evidence, so it doesn't stick the landing. But going forward, I just need content creators to keep it in mind that if it is not Jagex official, the tournament, the sponsorships, the endorsements, you're walking the territory of real world trade. Again, it's not a home run, but that's why we start off light and easy, and we move into the more juicier content. Now let's talk about the $10,000 scam that absolutely did happen. There's someone called M M R E T H. I don't. Let's. We're going to call them F. This is their name in their Discord here. Bikers is convinced that this was my inside source the entire time when talking to him, and I made it very clear, which will be screenshotted and put in the Dropbox down below, numbered in order for your convenience to read, that I was just fucking with him the whole time and trolling him, and he didn't catch on to it once. He's a dumbass. So I made him think that this person was my source. They're a terrible person. And to further my credibility on this situation, Amor Eth or Eth was brought to the inner circle to talk about exposing this, this sort of drama and, and the insides of the DM works. And I asked for them to be removed almost immediately because I said, I'm, I'm not here for the edgy, you know, the questionable doing things to people's mothers comments that he makes. I, I'm, not, I'm not here for that. I'm here to talk about the truth. I'm here to talk about what bikers and Fred do to try and manipulate people to get what they want and get as much money as they can out of the community and still get away with being banned even today. So we're writing Amor Eth off almost immediately. Sorry bikers, you got played. You're a dumbass. Now, another screenshot you need to look at is this chart here, okay? This is a very important chart because this is how the splits work. Obviously, it's an old, old school Runescape GP because if it was in anything else, you'd be accused of real trading. So, and notice on the, I can't see it obviously behind me, but notice on the right hand side is the numbers next to BTCs is 30, Crypto 30, Red Run 20, Halotide 20. No one cares about those numbers except the one next to BTCs. That's important and you need to remember that 30 for later because two 30s and two 20s make 100. That's why that's a percent sign up the top. I want to make sure this is as clear as day. So even BTCs understands what I'm saying. Even though this is his format, 
and his platform, he's still gonna play dumb and be like, duh, 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 I don't know what the hundred means. So if we can make it as simple for everyone involved, that's gonna make it a lot easier for me to hopefully not have to make a second video on this topic when he starts dribbling about how this doesn't make any sense. So, just remember that chart and we'll bring it up later. Now, bikers, there's him sharing his Bitcoin wallet to someone called Chuck, um, asking for money, but old mate's obviously low on Bitcoin. Why would you be doing that? Who knows? And you've also got some people here, Name and AV, which this will all be available down below in the description in the Dropbox for you to check out. Uh, where both of these guys, Name is the guy that got scanned for the $10,000. These guys are talking about how bikers sold and bought gold from AV too. Now, you might remember that chart we looked at about 30 seconds ago. Bikers here, I'm offering you the 1.5K of my split simply because I don't care about your money. You did your damages and I'm refunding your 1.5K of my split. I don't care about the three days you're all unhinged. You're, you're clearly unhinged. Okay. So this is relating to when him and Name, like I said at the start, they had some internal beef and they decided to kick him and they didn't give him his rank back because there was they, they were fucking around with shit I don't care about. The point is that they didn't refund him the money when they said that he would never lose that rank. Now, Bikers is offering 1.5k of his split back. Now, why would he be doing that? There is a screenshot where it says GP instead of 1.5k and it says edited and he will claim that it's uh, fabricated but that's where bikers you come in we go live and we have a look at the timestamps we go there and you show me that it doesn't say gp and edited you just show me it doesn't exist show me that it's fake show me that it's fabricated because if it says gp and edited you've just edited it and it says 1.5k of my split how can like you can't hide behind the fabrication excuse every fucking 10 minutes. It doesn't work like that. Which we will continue to expose further throughout this video. You guys remember this chart? 30% BTCs. BTCs is two people, Fred and Bikers, which means 30%. What's half of that? 15%. And what's 15% of $10,000? I can't hear you. I said, what's 15% of $10,000? 1.5 fucking K right there. Okay, the math adds up. Now, it could be fabricated. Yeah, all right, dickhead. Let's continue the talk then. I get it, all right? It could be fabricated. It's not. But we'll talk about it anyway, just to confirm that it's not. And again, everything will be down below in the Dropbox for you to go through and make your own assessment. This guy's fucking real trading. Jagex did a good job at banning you. You shouldn't be out of play still. If you're uh, on, to, on a side note, sorry, while I'm rambling, obviously, because that's just what I do. How come, bikers, you don't deathmatch anymore? Or very, very lightly on stream? Ever since you've been banned, if you did nothing wrong and you don't break the rules anymore, how come we almost never see you deathmatch ever since then? What's wrong? I thought you were legit. I thought you weren't breaking the rules. Just go deathmatching. I dare you. Go on, try it. See what happens. Just to further validate that the chart isn't fake, I've blocked out some names because there's some people I either haven't spoken to or that don't want to be involved unless they desperately need to be involved. So I'm just using these screenshots to keep them as anonymous as possible per their request. Um, well, you got 30, 30, 20, 20, 30% 30 split BTC season holly. But why would this conversation exist with completely different people that isn't name, is that fabricated too? Why, why would that be fabricated? These, these people aren't even related. They, they have nothing to do with name. Furthermore, we have a conversation here where we have people discussing how they would like to be paid through BTC's DMing Discord, whether they want RSGP or Bitcoin. Oh mate, would prefer RSGP rather than Bitcoin. What, why would Bitcoin be in the discussion if it wasn't an option originally? Just more evidence of like real world trading, like, oh, I never did Bitcoin personally. It's your Discord. You're in control of it. You're an admin. You're a manager. You, you run the fucking thing. You're responsible. Okay, if money laundering happens in your casino, even if you're not the one profiting off of it, you're, you're still responsible for it. It's that simple. Here's some more just fucking screenshots of bikers being paid 10K and it went towards covering debts for, of, of bikers and Freds to the other admin. Uh, so bikers got paid directly from it. it wasn't like some behind the scenes deal money paid the debt he owed um then which was documented so it's just like what like how is this fabricated why would you make this up like how many more screenshots do i need to show and there's just like there's so many more screenshots of conversations with people that just are uh, just confirming that real world trading and real money is exchanged through your discord for ranks and for services through the game to help you run this DMing Discord and DMing clan inside Old School RuneScape. You can say they're all fabricated. That's a lot of conversations with a lot of different people, a lot of trusted people in your community. If you want to say they're fabricated, pull up the stream. Let's go, let's do it live. Let's show your audience and mine. You're not gonna do that. You either take the L here or you get face fucked on stream. 
It's up to you. I'll do either. I don't care. I've got nine screenshots here of just the conversation between name and bikers alone. And it'll all be down below numbered for your convenience, of course. Bikers, if you want to say this is all fabricated, pull up the stream. Let's have a look. I doubt you're going to. You've got, I've, I'm offering you a the 1.5K of my split simply because I don't care about your money. You did your damages and I'm refunding your 1.5K. Obviously on bikers end, it's going to say edited with GP now instead of 1.5K. Why would it say 1.5K? That's a very specific number to, to write to someone. That's almost like you were, well, let's say 15% of $10,000 is conveniently 1.5K. Why not offer the exact GP amount rather than just saying GP? Now, like I've said numerous times, this entire $10,000 scam drama involving name and bikers and everyone else will be down below documented in the Dropbox. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would have been the end of the video. The $10,000 drama has been discussed. Uh, I'm, it's inexcusable that BTCs has a very real trade system working for these ranks. Uh, he's taking money for it, and he will try to palm off that it's just Fred taking money. No, you're, you're taking money. Don't be an asshole. Like, you, you just fucking own it, okay? It's that simple. You got caught by Jagex. If it wasn't for this, here's just another reason for them to keep your ass banned. You lost the one trill. Grow some balls and move the fuck on. Um, obviously, we discussed the 100 bill tournament as well. But thankfully, this drama started during the subathon, which made there was a lot of time for people to come forward and talk about a few other things that bikers definitely isn't ready for. So sit down. This one's going to hurt, buddy. Strap in and strap on. And uh, let's talk about the kickbot and the CC. Earlier in the year, we had drama between uh, Stellar and Mod Trident versus Odoblock, where it was made very clear by the anti-cheat team that kickbots and CCs were not allowed in Old School RuneScape. I know a lot of CCs use them still today. Jagex doesn't do anything about it. So this is this part of the video is going to be where Jagex really needs to pull their finger out and, and like come down on these these clans and these kickbots. This is disgusting. Uh, here's a list of at least four of the kickbots that are in uh, Bikers CC, DM. If you just go to DM, if you depending on the time of day, it's normally during uh, office hours being closed, but they're likely not gonna have them active after this video, which is why I've got a short on my channel, as well as a video behind me right now playing of the kickbot being active. As you can see, if you join on a free-to-play world, you will be kicked before the list of names even appears. Now, the reason this is that they're able to get away with this is because what you do is you get the accounts like this and you get them muted. Just start spamming M words and whatever slur you can at the Grand Exchange, get them muted. That way, if you join on a free-to-play world, it'll automatically kick you. If you join on an account that is sub-40 combat, kicked. If you join on an account that's uh, red flagged for scamming and deathmatching, kicked instantly, okay? And no one will see you getting kicked because the account's banned, so the public messages are not available, which means people in the clan won't see kicking user from clan. It'll just say you've been kicked instantly. They're likely going to turn these off now, but Jagex, it's happening. There's video evidence of it happening. Ban the fuckers. Not not just the kickbots, but the people running the clan. Like, who own, owners of the clan. They know it's happening. There's no way you don't know this is happening. It is inexcusable to allow this to continue. Originally, I wouldn't care, but just because it's bikers and BTCs, I, I want to see it happen. He sits there telling Jagex that they're corrupt, they're full of shit, and they're stealing from him, and then that they're paying me to, to, to do this sort of work. I wish Jagex was paying me for this work. You have to be out of your mind as a company, as a team of JMods, to not do something about this. Get the anti-cheat team and just run a train on it. In fact, don't just stop here, anti-cheat team, because I've got a lot more content for you coming up right now in the final part of this video for many other people and accounts that should be banned permanently from Old School RuneScape. The final part of this video is, in my opinion, the worst part of what this community gets away with in the game. Um, it's Bikers streams a lot of his content, and we, we know he real trade, so it's not really him, it's the other half of BTCs at this point, as well as the rest of the people within the DM community. Starting off with Fred. Fred plays on this account called Holsey, which was banned about a week ago today. Here's a message, uh, Holsey, LF1 to 10 build, DH at Lummy South Fountain, Fred on Discord. And then that's him banned. Okay, that's him trading 95 mil plat tokens. I don't know the numbers, nor do I care. Point is, he got banned and that's the account he plays on. But it's not his original account. No, this account belongs to another content creator, another streamer, who is also a real trader, who was banned recently actually for doing some dodgy shit. You guys know him, you probably don't love him. He's the, the cornerstone of the eyebrow community. The man of God, the drop a five pack, handsome Twitch streamer himself. His tags are fucking ridiculous. Uh, Abyss, yes, yeah, that that's, yep. 
Those are his tags. I shit you not. Abyss openly tweeted five years ago that Halsey is unbanned, by the way. Told you I didn't do it. Thanks, Jagex. If you see Halsey at the Jewel Arena, it's in your best interest to stake me because it's a 99% chance you'll win. So here's the original owner of Halsey. Now, does he still own the account Halsey today? I don't have any evidence of that. But you're the original owner. And I don't see how Fred or Bikers has close enough friends inside of Jagex to get Halsey unbanned 12 hours after this ban was handed out. It's unbanned now. It got banned, and now it's unbanned. I don't have evidence of this, but I think, Abyss, you've got a fucking finger in someone's pie, and you're having that shit licked clean, motherfucker. I'm watching you. I'm on to you. This account should be banned. Furthermore, Fred uses it. Fred is a rural trader. He uses Halsey. This is him staking with it. These are his messages. Jagex, stop unbanning Halsey and just kick the cunt out of the game. I don't care if it's Abyss's. No one cares. Abyss was streaming a RuneStake Rural Trade sponsorship like four months ago on Kick. Like what more, like how much dodgier can these cunts get in this community? Look at this shit. Abyss, you're, you're a successful streamer. But this is just further evidence why you and all your friends in this community are just the dumbest cunts on the planet. Why would you accept this sponsorship? This guy is openly admitting to Halsey being his account. Halsey's being used for rural trade by a big rural trader. Jagex, link everything together. If Abyss isn't breaking the rules on what he's doing actively now, fine. Leave him alone then, sure. He served his time for that dumbass sponsorship. He probably made his money from it, that's fine. Halsey should be banned. Anything Fred touches should be banned. Sorry guys, future Condor here. Just something's come up in the past few days before releasing this video that needs to be addressed because if Bikers has any opportunity to disprove something in this video, he will make a massive point about it and hope that you guys forget about the rest of the shit that he can't disprove in this video. So, just to solidify this point further, uh, I believe that the banning of Halsey from Fred over here, sorry, was actually from him using an AHK to try and advertise that uh, message in the chat. So it was actually a macro ban. This is the theory at least which Bikers has been using today on his live stream here as well, and Chad has warned him to not do it because that's how Fred got smoked. So that's another theory. I'm not letting you off the hook, Abyss, because I still got my fucking eye on you. Halsey was still your original account and still is used by Rebel Trader, so it should absolutely be banned. But just want to throw this in here so Bikers can't try to make a whole video about hell. He was wrong about this one point, and then hope that you guys just forget about the rest of the video because he won't touch that because the man's guilty as shit. So just want to put that there. Go back to the video. This isn't even the beginning because there's someone else in the DM Discord, a very sneaky person that no one has seen yet, that hasn't been mentioned in this video. You guys probably don't know about him, but the Deathmatch community, oh, they know him and they love him. He's a big name. His name is Pingy. Although, some of you may know him. Oh, let me pull out the screenshot. I can't, I'm not making this up. Sometimes, his, sometimes they know him as Pingy. Sometimes they know him as uh, the 50... <laughs> the, the Lebanese... Girl, American Dreaming, 19, yes, I'm, I'm, I shit you not, 50 Bill, Elf OT. This is Pingy. He is one of the biggest, let me pull it up again, sorry, I'm, I'm showing it behind me, but I'm just trying to be consistent with what I'm showing. Everyone knows him as Pingy. Everyone knows him as a gold seller. There's people calling him out. I'm just going to call, I'm not, I'm, I'm not calling you Amy, I'm just going to call you Pingy, okay? People know that this is Pingy. He has to have different accounts because, well, otherwise he'll just get banned. Because people can follow him, and I think he's been banned on Discord before for running gambling discords. Now, the question that I'm going to be answering right now is, what is that? You can't hide roles on Discord, but Pingy has that role there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an admin role. It doesn't say admin. Admins have an admin role, but there is a dot, which is literally the same thing. It just doesn't show you as an admin, because if Pingy is an admin in your Discord, and he's a well-known variable trader and gold seller, when you've got... Uh, you've got Bikers and Fred up the top, or Bikers and some other dickhead. Hold on, let me have a look. And you've got Bikers, Fred, and Lance up the top. You can't have Pingy up there. Pingy's a real trader. He's a gold seller. You can't, you can't mix them up here because th these are legit people. Hello Tide's here because he stepped back from being an admin. He's not an admin anymore. He doesn't want to be an admin. He stepped back while there was a soft closure on the Discord. So why is Pingy here? Well, hidden admin rank. That's not a hidden rank. You don't appear as admins in the top Discord because I'm not active. Like I said, Pingy became an admin after I became inactive when DM Watch soft closed. I don't have any idea how things are ran at the moment. That's fine. Plead ignorance, Hello Tide. But he's got the same rank as you. Why would Hello Tide lose the admin rank? This is a clear indicator that Pingy 
has admin ranks and just in case you think i'm just blowing some conspiracy out of the water here bikers sit down i've got you covered here don't worry there is a way to bug their system inside the discord well, it's not even really bugging the system it's just how poorly they've designed it because they're idiots and it's uh, to submit a ticket and what this ticket does is it goes to the admins for them to obviously deal with your dispute and who do you get you get admin fred obviously he's the admin doing his job good bloke real trader fucking loser then you got the guy who submitted the ticket that's me hello hi I've got a problem, can you help me out? And then online, for some reason, you've got Hello Tide and Pingy. I hope my fingers are blinding up. If it's not, just you can, you can just see it. Why would they be involved in the ticket if they're not admins with admin roles or admin uh, permissions? Show their permissions. No, don't, because you're going to edit them. Fuck you, all right? These guys have permissions that admins have. Pingy is a massive gold seller, Ribble Trader. This guy gets banned all the time. Look at all these different name changes we've got here. Elf B, Elf D, Elf DR, Elf EU. All these name changes on the right here, you see that? He is banned literally on like a 12 hour cycle. This man has accounts for days. Elf LTD was available, now banned. But look at the stats. Every account that he gets is almost identical to these stats. And he just changes the name. He has, I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't even know where, but he has like a five pound bag with just 10 pounds of shit stuffed inside and it's just, it's just all these accounts ready to be pulled out and used for real trading and staking. That is all that, like, he's literally going through, like, seven accounts a week. You can just check his name that he posts in the Discord, and it's just banned, new account, banned, new account. I shit you not. You cannot make this up. Jagex, how is this happening? How is someone like this able to constantly make these accounts? Yes, you're banning him every time he does it, but he's getting the gold off. He's selling it. He's staking it. He's moving it. There has to be a better way for you to deal with people like this in the community. This is happening consistently all the time. Like the, the only time he gets a break is when office hours are closed. All these bands are done manually and they just like, how are you like, I, in my opinion, I think it's just laziness by the anti-cheat team. I don't think they're corrupt. I think they just can't be fucked. This, this is the uh, God's honest truth. This is what I'm putting together here. It is absolutely absurd to me that this is, th th this is happening at this alarming rate. You've also got, here's another thing, proof of real trading happening in the DM Discord, which doesn't happen according to the rules here that Bikers has clearly stated. Where's this dumbass? Here we go, he's coping. We heavily follow and abide all OSRS terms of service, meaning a zero tolerance policy for real trading and promoting OSRS gambling sites, etc., which Abyss did, by the way, and will be on... Stand by to stop DMing completely when JMods implement the removal. Good, JMods implement the removal of DMing because this is what is happening inside of Biker's Discord. I've got a video here. So you got this guy. This is Smoke. His name is actually Prime Board, um, which is Biker's editing comments here. Only message Smoke for ranks. I do not deal with this, which means Smoke is someone up in the top doing uh, doing the ranks. Which means he's a position of some power inside the, the Discord. His name is Prime Board. I've got a video here. Prime Board. I mean, you could call it staking, but let's be honest. As I said earlier, I know fucking money laundering when I see it. And this video right here. Rodney. 25 Rodney. Dude. Prime Board just absolutely wiped the floor of him. Like, what, did he forget his gear? How did you... Is that, is that how staking works? Or is that real trade? I can't tell. If you don't believe me, then uh, how come... Let me pull it up again. Sorry, I know, sloppy, but that's what you get when you deal with my content. Why is... Uh, I mean, Rodney's on his 25th, 26th account now. Surely he's probably in the 30s by now. This, this was two days ago. It's now the 30th of October in Australia. Jagex... You need to shut the entire clan down. Shut these people down. They, they, like, a, a temporary ban doesn't do anything. These people are moving gold faster than you're banning them. Look at, these, look at the stats in these accounts. They're identical. Where are they getting them from? Control your game. Sort it out. They, they, like, Bikers is running this entire thing. Bikers is in charge of this entire Discord, of this entire clan. BTCs, Bikers and Fred, they own it, they run it, they profit from it. Do not sit there and try to tell me that this is for charity, that this isn't real world trade, that there isn't real world trade involved. Bikers, you're a fucking liar. You're a little weasel, all right? You've got a small cock. You lack the intelligence to make even remotely decent content. If there's no DMing involved, if there's nothing involved with you making a fat amount of money in your bank, you're just some dickhead on the other end of the screen screaming, Venezuelans, no one cares. I have no idea what happened with Grey Grey and her account. 
but she hangs around with you guys. She may not have personally done any real trading, but something was done on her account, you're likely responsible if she genuinely doesn't have a clue. I don't know. But people need to understand if they're gonna hang around with swines like you, you're gonna end up knee deep in shit for no reason when you least expect it. And if you wanna dispute any of this, my door is open. You've got an invite and it expires a week from this video's upload. So if you wanna get your shit together, get your story straight with your friends, edit your comments and do what you need to do before then, go for it. But I'm not keeping anything in the DMs. I'm not joining voice calls with you while you send pictures of me pretty much naked. Like, stop being a weird cunt, all right? You and your friends, you're all fucking losers. I don't care. I really don't care. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want more information on this, or if anyone's got more information on this, Bring it to me. I won't make another video unless I absolutely need to, but I needed to get this off my chest. People were asking for it. I really wanted to get it done. And um, Jagex, we need to see some bands. We need to get rid of deathmatching. Just why is it even in the game? You're trying to hold, hold like support for a part of the community that just has a gambling problem. Yes, people can use it for a quick way to make money, but guess what? 95% of the people deathmatching are real world trading. They're scamming, they're lying, they're, being, they're fueling an addiction that you just don't need in this game. RuneScape will not suffer if deathmatching is removed. Get rid of it. Ban it. Just stop fucking around. Because look at the look at look at what's going on. These people are just making accounts after accounts and changing names. They're buying accounts, stealing accounts, whatever they're doing. Uh, I'm I'm done. Like and subscribe if you think BTC is real trades. Thank you. Quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck me, look at that boy. Yeah.